everybody, my name is Carmen Shank. I am the Tiny House Foodie and welcome. It's January 1 and this is day one of right sizing your kitchen. Now before we go in there and start pulling everything out of the kitchen cabinets and making a big huge mess, let's start here, okay? Let's start by asking the question why. Now why would you downsize? Why are you making this change in your life? What is it that you hope to gain? Now, the word downsizing has kind of a negative connotation. We think of sacrifice. We think of things we're not going to have anymore. We think of, of giving up stuff, things that we care about. If we focus on what we gain, what we hope to gain through the process of right-sizing our belongings, then it keeps the focus in a more positive place and it's empowering and it keeps us focused on what the real reason is. This is not about sacrifice. This is not about getting rid of this. It's not about, oh, I can't have that anymore. That's not the reason that we do this. Um, there is freedom. There is liberty. <laughs> there is simplicity. There is order. All of these things were, for me, very powerful reasons on why to go tiny. So in the fall of 2014, when we were going tiny, um, there were some very specific reasons. There were financial reasons, but there were also relationship reasons because uh, we had just closed our restaurant and we had both been working these crazy hours. I'd been running the restaurant. My husband had been running his business. And we had, we were like ships passing in the dark, you know. Um, I knew he was out there and he knew I was out there, but we weren't getting to see each other very much. And we found each other late in life. And one day we had sat down and had this conversation that here we were working these insane hours and we weren't getting to see each other and we had just found each other. And these hours were making us feel like we were losing what we had gained by finding each other. And so going tiny for us was about rediscovering each other, taking a break from the demands out there and, and thinking more in terms of the demands that we have for our own lives, the wants and the needs that we have. Because going tiny for us was very much about taking back control of our lives and gaining ourselves back from the frantic quality of life and finding authenticity and rest and joy in each other again. So think about your reasons. Think about your why. Are you moving to a smaller space this year? Would you like your electricity bill to go down? What is it that you want to gain? Uh, you want closer relationships in your family? What is it that you hope to gain by going tiny in 2017 or 18, as the case may be, since it just changed over to 18 a few hours ago? What is it that you're hoping to gain this year? And write yourself a note so that we remember that this is why we're going through this process. So we can stay focused, we can keep on track. Now I have another session planned for every weekday in January. So I hope you will come back and join me right here. And we will talk again about how to right size your kitchen in January of 2018. I'm Carmen Shank, I'm the Tiny House Foodie, reminding you that we can enjoy simplicity, we can go tiny, and we can eat really well. Thank you for joining me, I really appreciate it.